Sportal 3 here bringing you another cool action figure review. Today we have NECA's Pacific Rim Kaiju Battle Damage Knife Head. Oh baby, does this thing look awesome? Look at this. Wow. Man, I love the look of this thing. Quick look at the back here. You can see he's a category three. Look at that. Nice box art. That's beautiful. A few other figures from the wave: Trespasser, Cherno Alpha, and Coyote Tango. Oh man. So we need to get this thing opened up. Right now. And here is Knifehead out of his packaging. Wow, this thing looks great. I love the way this thing is designed. I love the way it's painted. This thing looks fantastic. So he stands about 8 inches tall here and an impressive 12 inches wide. He has this wingspan here. So if you stretch his arms out, man, that's like a foot across. That's just fantastic. Wow, it just makes for a great display. Look at all the detail they put into this thing. You know, up close shot of that head. Look at that. Man, it's just so impressive. Just fantastic amount of detail. Man, you just can't go wrong with these NECA figures, I'm telling you. Wow, look at that. Look at the teeth here. You can open and close his mouth too. Look at that. That's impressive. And look at all the detail. Even in the mouth there, you got a little purple tongue sticking out there. Well, that's just wicked. It's very cool. Very, very cool. So you can see on the back here, they painted this back piece of plated armor that he's got going on. And down through here, you got some yellow striping, which looks really nice. And on this side over here, you can see some more, I guess, blood, if you want to call it blood, you can. The alien goop, <laughs> you know, that comes out when he's taking damage. Yeah, this thing looks great. Oh, man, I'm so happy to have this thing. For articulation, he's got a bunch. Check it out. So you can, obviously, we've seen this. You can move his mouth up and down, which is really cool. His head kind of rotates. A little bit but it only goes about that far on both sides so it's very limited and wiggles up and down just a little bit and you come over here to the arms right here and you can rotate these arms all the way around and they have a joint there where you can move them up and down that's about as high as it goes right there and then you come down here to the elbows you got limited range of motion in there you can move it up and down and you can actually rotate this but you got to rotate it like with the arms straight out and then you can kind of spin it if you if you want very tight you don't really need to spin it though and then on the hands here, you have a slight spin here, which is also a ball joint here, nice and tight. I like that. Nothing in the fingers, but he's got some cool looking shiny black claws there. And you come down here to the waist, you can spin them at the waist back and forth and up and down a little bit. And then you got the little mini arms here, so you got some movement here. And the, shoulder, the other shoulders right here inside by the little, little arms, so you can spin them and move them up and down. Nothing at the elbow, but you can rotate the hands a little bit. Feels like they might be on a small ball joint in there. And then here at the legs, you can move these, spin them, move them back and forth a little bit. Everything's kind of hindered against other bits and pieces in there. So you got a lot of articulation going on, but not a whole lot of range of movement, which is okay for something like this because you don't really need a whole lot because it's just so impressive to begin with. And then you have the knee articulation here, very very small movement there but you can spin it and move it up and down and then you come down here to the foot and you can just kind of spin that a little bit just like so actually you can spin it all the way around there you go another really cool feature about this figure is the tail check it out so it's made of soft plastic like rubber and inside there's a metal wire so you can pose this all over the place you can turn it up like that lay it down point it out straighten it out like so Man, that's just wicked. And here's a quick comparison for you with the first release of Knife Head. So you can see this thing is literally twice the size and twice the awesome. And another quick comparison with the Crimson Typhoon. Now that's actually a pretty good scale if you ask me. And one more quick size comparison. There we have Battle Damage, Gypsy Danger, and Leatherback. Oh man, how awesome is this? So there you have it everybody. NECA's Pacific Rim Battle Damage Knife Head. Oh man, if there's one figure that you need to collect, out of this Pacific Rim line, this is the one. Oh man, if you're looking for it, head on over to Big Bad Toy Store, they'll hook you up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.